What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tyler. We are going to cover a lot of information in this video that is all leading to a massive breakout with AMC stock. The one big fear catalyst is now out of the way, at least for the short term, and that is the debt ceiling. We did get an update to this about 15 minutes after market did close today. So I want to go over this, give you guys the implications of what this is potentially going to cause for the markets. I think it's very bullish. As well as that, we're going to go over the Ortex data, technical analysis, as well as the stock gold tracker data but i do want to go into extensive detail on why i have been buying so much amc and why i am so bullish at our current price at about 38 dollars per share i think you guys will get a ton of value out of that and the rest of this information in this video if you do drop that like on the video consider subscribing to the channel as well as let me know down below in the comment section if you agree with my thesis if you don't agree with this thesis but keep it positive and respectful we are not trying to fight with each other down below in the comment section that is very unproductive so let's get straight into this video guys and first things first let's just talk about the whole debt ceiling situation that did come out 15 minutes after market did close today this was updated 40 minutes ago now it says lawmakers have a deal on a short-term debt ceiling increase senate senate majority leader schumer says key point senate majority leader chuck schumer announced that lawmakers have reached a deal on a short-term debt ceiling increase in quotes we have reached agreement to extend the debt ceiling through early december and it's our hope that we can get this done as soon as today schumer said the pact allows the debt limit to increase by 480 billion a sum the treasury department says will let it let it pay bills until december 3rd so all in all this is very going to be a very short term thing so we're obviously you know in a, in about two months a little bit less than two months we're going to be facing the same exact thing again but for the near terms the markets are very near term looking we're going to see a rally in the overall markets now if what apes think is the negative beta does not apply for amc if the markets shoot up then we're going to see amc shooting up as well well now there's a lot of things besides that to support this rally that i am talking about and really this breakout and just briefly adam aaron did put on his twitter he says a big weekend coming for amc theaters on saturday october 9th amc features the new fabulous james bond movie the second weekend of venom the fury wilder heavyweight boxing match live from las vegas and the metropolitan opera live from new york city that that my friends is something for everyone and this is great new york city is the largest area for for amc revenue second is los angeles so i do think this is a huge thing in the right direction but more so rather than just bringing money in because just you know last weekend they broke their own personal record for over a hundred years now bringing in the most revenue from ticket sales as well as attendance and uh concession sales that they have ever done in one single day so I do think coming on earnings, this will be huge. AMC is going to massively be analyst expectations in my personal opinion. But what this ultimately shows is innovation from the leaders of AMC, from Adam Aaron, from everybody else on the board. They are taking steps in the right direction to better the business. And shorting AMC today is a lot more risky than it was shorting AMC three or six months ago. The business has improved exponentially and you would be basically committing suicide in your portfolio if you are shorting AMC at these prices given everything that we are talking about in this video it does not make a lot of sense but that is exactly what we are seeing short sellers doing with the short interest let me refresh this page because it might have updated a little bit 20.79 percent so it's actually went down just a little bit today we are just barely off of our all-time highs which was about 21.02 percent which was our all-time highs that was yesterday now like i said at 20.79 percent 106.31 million shares that are sold short shares utilization is going up a little bit about three percent over the past seven days at 88 percent as well as the free flow on loan at 22.59 percent so i do think we're going to really stay around 21 percent like i have called out for the past probably week or so on this channel which did come to fruition now we are a little bit under this it wouldn't surprise me if we are a little bit above 21 percent coming tomorrow in the next coming days now let's take a look at the fintel data the institutional owners because we are getting these 13 f filings that are coming out and then i want to take a deep look into the technical analysis and why i have been buying so much amc i think you guys will get a lot of value out of hearing why i am buying amc why i am so bullish at these current prices 
So taking a look at the 13 F filings that we are being reported and you guys can see right here really from about September 28th is when we started to get a lot of filings. Well, I should say September, uh, really September 3rd. Was really when we started to get a lot of these filings that are coming out and a majority a vast majority of this is bullish And what I consider bullish is obviously the green because that is indicating brand new positions and the white because that is indicating Positions that have not changed in the last quarter take a look at this What is really bullish about this forget the amount of shares is the average price on these shares in between $23 right here on the low end, but you're seeing the average cost of these shares of some of these uh, hedge funds or firms I, I should just say just to be you know a general concept of uh, $51.25 $47, $42, $46, very high prices. So they're underwater on their long positions, but they are choosing to hold on to their positions because obviously they see a lot of potential in AMC stock. So I think this overall is bullish to see firms holding on to their positions. So ultimately, great, great information what is being shown to us on Fintel. We're going to have to wait and see for a lot of these filings to actually, you know, come out and to get a full picture of what the hedge funds are doing. But the preliminary data per se looks very good. Now let's move on to that. Sorry, I'm kind of going through this information pretty fast because there's a lot to cover. I don't want to make this video 20 minutes long. Now, something that I do want to point out is a little bit of a concern that I did see towards the end of the day is we've seen a lot of selling volume coming in. This is on the 15 minute candlestick chart. And, you know, ever since uh, this was about an hour and 15 minutes towards the end of uh, close today, we did start to see a bit of a sell off, a little bit of a bounce and then a more major sell-off towards the end of the day and a lot of selling volume that did come in so just watch to see what does happen tomorrow the s p 500 is up six pennies in after hours so i don't expect a negative day considering the news that we did get and especially if the debt ceiling situation does get passed we're likely going to see a major rally in the equity markets as well as amc now let's talk amc guys and this is what I'm really bullish about. On a technical basis, you guys can see this. This is the 15-minute candlestick chart. And from yesterday, when we did hit these lows, the $35.64, we did go up to about $37. And then we did come back down pretty fast, continue to go back up back up now what i want to point out is right here if we're looking at this on a very micro basis right we're looking at the more short term we are setting up for this rally take a look at this we did bottom out at pretty much this level that we did top out at yesterday and that is where we did find support at about 37 dollars 50 cents per share give or take about 51 cents per share so right here looks to be the bottom that we did hit if we break out past $38.50 per share, then we could go to about $40 per share. I also do want to point out this trend line that I am going to draw right now from what we did see yesterday, and it, it obviously looks very bullish. We were up 3.56% in regular trading today down 0.76 percent in after hours i wouldn't pay really any attention to that the technical setup here does look very bullish and if you are on the 15 minute candlestick chart you can see the 50 day the 100 day and the 200 day moving average is all at about 37 dollars per share so if we do come down for whatever reason you're likely to see that balance at about 37 dollars per share so i do think there's a lot of upside here but why have i been buying so many shares of amc it is really quite simple you guys see the volume that is completely dropped off in the stock right it's no surprise we're only trading in the you know the mid 30 million for volume so there's not a lot of shares that are being traded hands but if you have been in the markets for a long time you know that very volatile stocks or really uh, uh momentum stocks per se meme stocks specifically they tend to crater with low volume that's where you know if i'm looking at a stock to trade that's up you know 10 20 30 40 50 percent or whatever the percentage is i want to see high volume we are not seeing high volume on amc and we are not cratering we went up 3.56 percent today on very low volume 37 and a half million for 
volume. This means a majority of people are holding on to their shares. Once we see the volume go back into the stock, we are going to see an exponential gain in share price. That is the simple fact here. It's really coming down to the low volume is really giving me these conviction levels. And we can still see volatile moves like we did see on Thursday. We did have 101 million for volume, but this came pretty much out of nowhere. We went up 15% as well as a lot of other meme stocks. Basically, out of thin air that's because we have had low volume just the day before that thursday we had 42 million for volume so imagine once the volume comes back into the stock you're going to see like i said big movements to the upside and now that this debt ceiling situation is all but pretty much resolved we are likely to see a massive breakout with amc stock so that is going to be all for this video let me know your guys' opinions on this down below in the comment section and just to acknowledge something as well is yes sheeb sheba sheba in you i don't have a position i don't really want to speak on it because there is a movement growing behind it i don't care what you guys do with your money i personally think there is more potential here in amc at least for the shorter you know near term sheba it's gonna do what it wants to do but i think overall amc is a better trade so i just i don't like to see the comments you know amc is dead shiba is going to the moon all that stuff i know this is only for a small percentage of you know comments down in the comment section but please keep it positive and respectful respect respect respectful in the comment section that's what it's all about is helping each other and really you know, spreading the due diligence and keeping it positive and respectful. So with all that being said, guys, drop that like on the video. Consider subscribing to the channel. Let me know your thoughts on this video in the comment section. If you guys want to directly support the channel, link for public, link for Weeble to do that in the description of this video, as well as the link for the buy and sell alerts. We do it all. We day trade, swing trade, and make long-term investments with stock options and or crypto. So definitely check it out. We keep it very inexpensive. So anybody is financially able to join if they want to be a part of that program. So you guys, Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video.